The notion of 5 CS, cash, car, credit card, condominium, and country club membership may have been around for decades, but Pamela Lee had not heard of them until last month. The 23-year-old digital content creator recalled being quite taken aback by the unabashedly materialistic checklist and the stress that would have come with the endless chase to keep up or get ahead of others. The 5CS also offered a very superficial take on success. Someone can have all the 5CS, but deep down, he may be unhappy or finding it difficult to maintain that lifestyle, said Miss Lee. I can understand why the 5CS can be a thing to define success because you need hard work to attain them. But I'm just glad that this is no longer relevant for my generation. This unfamiliarity and rejection of the 5CS among young Singaporeans who spoke to CNA underscores how the checklist has receded in relevance since emerging about 50 years ago as the Singapore dream. People in Singapore now chase meaning and purpose, with the idea of a good life evolving beyond material success, according to the recently released Forward SG report. Several key shifts, spanning education, jobs and support for families and seniors, will be needed for this new Singapore dream, noted the report that surveyed more than 200,000 Singaporeans as part of a nationwide feedback exercise led by the government. What is behind this change in the Singapore dream and how are Singaporeans redefining success? The 5CS likely emerged during the early 1970s when the Singapore economy was racing ahead with double-digit growth. As incomes went up, so did the aspirations of a young nation. Back then, the buzzword among Singaporeans was upgrading or upward social mobility and the 5CS came to be practical indicators of that, said National University of Singapore's Associate Professor Tan and so many Singaporeans, having risen from poor or low-income backgrounds, possess a strong desire to be able to rise up from circumstances of lack to doing better than their parents and achieving material comfort and security, and correspondingly higher social status, he said. Television dramas, such as Channel 8's Marriage Dollars and Cents in 1996, and movies like Singapore Dreaming in 2006, depicted how the 5CS influenced major decisions in Singaporean life. As the country developed, subsequent generations of Singaporeans grew up enjoying better standards of living, attaining higher educational qualifications and were more well-traveled or exposed to the world beyond Singapore. Major crises like the COVID-19 pandemic also made people rethink their priorities in life, sociologists said. With aspirations being a product of time and environment, it was only natural that some of the 5CS would become obsolete or less relevant. Said Singapore Management University's Professor Pollen Taystron. A membership at a country club, for one, will likely be written off, Dr. Strawn said. Country clubs, especially those with sprawling golf courses, used to be much coveted due to their prestige as the domain of the well-heeled, offering exclusivity and networking opportunities. At one point, club memberships also carried investment value, according to a Today article. But the appeal of country clubs has dipped over time. Business networking, for example, is no longer forged just over a game of golf, said Dr. Strawn. Credit cards have also waned in prestige as they are now commonplace and have become just another way to pay, said Association Professor Tan. Rather than status, getting a new card these days is more about making the most out of one's spending by earning rewards points, cash rebates and air miles. For example, Nathan, a 33-year-old working in a technology firm has designated cuts for accumulating air miles and cashback for everyday spending. Some have done away with credit cuts entirely. Miss Jasmine Tuan, 45, had as many as a dozen cuts in her 20s. 
she cancelled all of them about a decade ago. These days, she goes about with just four plastics in her wallet, an EasyLink card, an ATM card and two debit cards for grocery shopping and travel. Sociologists reckon that only three out of the five CS remain relevant, cash, cars and condominiums. Association Professor Tang described cash as fundamental to achieving the trappings of success. While it is not surprising for cars and private properties to still be seen as markers of social mobility. In property-hungry Singapore, a condominium is largely regarded as a desirable investment option. But skyrocketing Certificate of Entitlement COE premiums are putting car ownership out of reach for many Singaporeans. With a reliable local public transport system and a variety of ride-hailing options, people will question the need to own a car, regardless of status symbol, said Dr. Strong. After hitting new highs in October's second bidding exercise, COE premiums closed lower in all categories in the latest bidding exercise on November 8. Nathan, who bought a used car last year, said his decision was not driven by prestige, instead, it was about having the freedom to hate out until late. That said, sky-high COE premiums are giving him second thoughts about the need for a car.